Hello, welcome back. Uh, you know, in this video, I'd like to follow up the previous um, talk about React Native and um, and uh, React Native navigation, and I'd like to add a challenge for you, right? So we've created an app and we've used the stack view, okay? So we've got the stack here and we can navigate around the stack. Um, and in the, the previous project, we created a list view, right? And so one of the common patterns on iOS is the list detail pattern. And what this is, is it's basically like one screen is a list, right? It uses the flat list maybe, and all the list cells, if you tap on them, they take you somewhere else. You know, so for example, um, if I go to the, um, sorry, my iOS simulator is kind of choking there. If I go to the settings app, so here I'm in, I'm in settings, you know, you can see I'm in settings right there. And um, this is a list. It's This is actually a two-dimensional list. So that's another option. The section list, right, is an option. This is a section list, but you could think about it as a flat list. And um, as I scroll through the list, if I tap on one of the list items, it takes me to another view. So what this is, is this is the list detail pattern. So we have a list view and tapping on one of the items in the list view takes us to another screen which has more information on it. In this case, it's another list. So actually the list view is kind of, you know, um, kind of nested, right? Um, but this is my challenge for you, right, is to set this up. So, because it's a very common pattern on iOS, um, common on Android also, and um, you know it, it works with mobile devices. So in, on mobile, we often want to display a list of information because it's easy to scroll things vertically, right, on the small screen, especially when we're in portrait view. And then you know we need a way to get to more information. So if I want to go to accessibility, you know I can tap on this and it takes me to the accessibility screen, right? So my challenge here is that um, you should take the by breed example where we made a list view and you should combine it with the example that we just did. So I would recommend maybe starting with a new project from scratch, but you can also start with your other um, with your original by breed example if you want. So either way, but the goal is to display a list of either cats or dogs and you can display just the name, right? So just the name of the breed here. And then when you tap on the um, a breed name, it should take us to the information about that breed. And so, so it should list all of the um, you know, features of the breed and the values, right? And so this can be a scroll view, a list view, or just a, a regular view. So the detail screen can be whatever you want, right? So essentially, you know, if we look at the original code that we used, if I go into app.js here, and maybe I'll even open up the app here. Um, here we are, right? So I'm on the home screen. So your home screen here, the um, stack screen named home right here, displaying component home, this home screen component should contain the list view. Okay, so you'll have to import the uh, breed JSON data, the cat and dog JSON data, and then get the um, <clears throat> the J, the .js file that goes with that because it kind of organizes the data and makes it into a list for us, right? So you'll have to copy that stuff into your project <clears throat> and then make a home screen just like you did here, set up the stack navigator, make a detail screen just like you did here, have both of those screens here. In the home screen though, this is where you're gonna set up a flat list. So every flat list, every list cell can be a button, right? So you can actually wrap it in the button or put the button inside it. <clears throat> you can also use the um, touchable component. So there's a few components here called touchable, right? So if I go to touchable, I get touchable highlight, uh, touchable base, touchable highlight component, right? So you can use touchable highlight, right? Um, and if you, it, a touchable is like a view, but it also has an on press. So you can use it like the view here, and then you can also give it an on press, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. So the goal is inside the home screen here, we're going to have a flat list. 
and then every list cell is going to be something that you can click on. It can either be a button or it can be a, um, a touchable, right? And when you, when you tap on one of those list cells, we're going to navigate, right? So we're going to navigate to a detail view, and then you'll want to pass the cat and dog data here as an, as an object to that detail view, <clears throat> okay? And then your detail view here can display the cat and dog data, right? So it's going to get the cat and dog data from route.params. Okay, so so there you go. There's the challenge that I'm gonna lay out for you, um, and uh, you know, good luck, right? So let me know how you do, and um, I'll cover maybe a solution in the in the upcoming videos. So you can try that on your own and see how far you can get with it, and then you can compare your work against the solution. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.